Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a small little tutorial on how to earn coins in Hockey Ultimate Team and keeping your coin total up. There are several ways to earn coins in Hockey Ultimate Team like playing games, opening packs, and working the market are all ways to build your coin total. In the beginning, playing Ultimate Team might be tough at first and getting those star players will take some time, but I will tell you step by step on how to build your dream team in NHL 16 with ease. First of all, playing games this year in Hockey Ultimate Team has been more rewarding than ever before. First, we're going to be talking about playing online seasons, and it is the most ideal way to face new opponents who are in the same division as you. By winning more games against your opponents, the more points you will get that season. A win will get you 2 points, an overtime or a shootout loss will get you 1 point, and losing any game will get you 0 points. As you move up in your division, you will receive higher bonuses for holding your division getting promoted, and getting the title. So try your best to get to Division 1. If you're not confident with your playing ability online and you're afraid of losing, don't be afraid to go into single player seasons to win some divisions or playing solo in HUT to select your desired difficulty. Don't worry, you will still get the coins for those modes, but I do highly recommend you try them out if you are struggling online. Now that we talked about earning coins from games, there is an alternative way to build your coins up faster, which is to just simply purchase packs from the store with money. How much money you spend is up to you, you don't even have to spend a dime if you don't want to, but if you don't have that much time to work the market and if you're just a little bit stuck in Hockey Ultimate Team, purchasing packs definitely makes the game a lot easier and faster. Here's just a quick tip though, if you plan on purchasing packs with your own coins, just know that it's always a gamble, there is always a chance with packs, if you don't have the coins to risk it, let's face it, you cannot be complaining when you can't afford contracts to use on your players. Be smart with your coins. Make sure to invest in your players first before risking it all on packs. Alright, so now that we got all the nitty gritty stuff out of the way, we are now going to be talking about working in the market. And I had a huge response from my subscribers not to leak any big methods due to saturation, but I will tell you the basics and the fundamentals which will help you get started with using the marketplace as your resource. First of all, you guys should know that the marketplace is a live place where people from all over the world are selling stuff from players to contracts to even jerseys. Making coins for the market is simple, buy low, and sell high. It does sound easy enough, however, like I said, the marketplace is a live place and prices fluctuate all the time. If you are not prepared, if you've not done enough research on the item you're trying to sell, you could be losing coins from your sales, so that is definitely not a good thing. If you're new to the game, it is a known rule that in HUT, there is an EA tax of 5% on any item that you sell. So let's do an example first. If you're buying an item from the marketplace for say 97,000 coins and you want to sell it for 100,000 coins, it might seem like you're making a 3,000 coin profit just because uh, 100,000 minus 97,000 is 3,000, right? But in reality, you do have to take a 5% off your sold item if you do complete that transaction. This means that your 100,000 coin item that you just sold from the marketplace has only gotten you back 95,000 coins back in return. The same rule does apply for trade offers as well, so you plan on getting by through the, the trade offer system, it won't work. Just keep that rule in mind guys, because when you start selling higher end expensive players who are thousands to hundreds of thousands of coins, the tax will play an even bigger factor when working the market, so you gotta watch out for that. Here's another tip, so I played HUT for several years already, I can tell you that accepting coins for your players might not always be the ideal situation. If you receive a trade offer from the marketplace that you like, and you know that you're getting equal value to the amount of coins that you want, sometimes you might want to just take the offer because EA tax can take a tax off your players that you get. Like I said, if you want coins more than players, definitely take the coins, they are a very valuable asset to have. If you want value without getting an EA tax, take the players, it just really depends on what you want for your item. If you do plan on buying low and selling high from the marketplace, also known as flipping, be smart, do your research on the item you're trying to sell or flip, make sure to follow the item's patterns and market value, and make your move quickly. That's my number one rule. The market changes ever so quickly, so if you are too slow, tough luck unfortunately. Definitely, if you know what you're doing, there is much more reward than risk, so I highly encourage that you try buying and selling and trying the flipping method. Lastly, I know a lot of you guys probably already know this, but make sure to log into your HUD account once per day to claim your coin bonus. The more you log in consecutively, the more coins you can get from EA for free. You can get a maximum of 1,250 coins per day just for entering HUD daily. And if you think that is a small amount, consider this. You can receive 1,250 coins per day, meaning 8,750 coins per week, 
or 35,000 coins per month. And does that seem like a lot yet? Well, that's 140,000 coins per four months and almost a quarter of a million coins after eight months. There are a lot of amazing players you can pick up for that price. So try to consistently log in if you can. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much everything you need to know about making coins in Hockey Ultimate Team and keeping your coin total up. The only thing I'm going to really leave you off with is to be smart with your coins. If you enjoy risking it with gold packs, do not be surprised if you are poor in the game. Invest it wisely, make sure to think for yourself, and do what's best for your coins because they are an extremely important asset to have in the game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to earn coins in HUT as well as keeping your coin total up. I believe in all of you to one day be millionaires in Hockey Ultimate Team. It's definitely doable, just take some time and some smarts. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.